Manifestation is one of the easiest concepts in the world, but it's not that simple. Let me tell you why. It requires patience. We live in a new world, an unprecedented era in recorded history. That phone in your hand, if you're watching me on one that is, is possibly the most life-altering invention ever created. At any given moment, you can Google anything you want to know or learn. You can contact your family, your friends, your SP at any given time. You can order food for immediate delivery. You can tap into anyone's life on demand through social media. This access to near instantaneous information and communication has a side effect of increasing impatience collectively as a society. As you master the art of manifestation, patience is the key in not only obtaining what you want, but enjoying the process while it materializes. Welcome to Here Nor There. This channel is dedicated to empowering you through the art of conscious creation, shaping the life that you aspire to live. Patience. Ah, patience. Think about the last time you've consciously tried to manifest something that you really desired, something that you were initially fearful of not obtaining. Even the slightest possibility of missing your window of opportunity would trigger you in some way, shape, or form. Now, during this process, did you consistently or constantly ask yourself if you were doing it right? Did you obsess over a technique? In the realm of manifesting a specific person, did you obsess over social media? Did you frequently check to see if anything changed? Do these examples I've given sound relaxing or do they sound frantic and chaotic? Does this sound like the actions of a person who's confident? Does this sound like the action of a person who is relaxed? This is not the energy you want. It is the energy of impatience. If your desire would just hurry up and show up, life will be better, right? This game of life is not played that way. In fact, if it were, life will be far more difficult. Imagine the manifestation process as a GPS, if you will. You've already put in your destination, which is the desire you want to experience. You hit the go button. You allow the GPS to guide you to your destination. Take a look at your favorite GPS app right now. Usually, the default selection is the fastest route. You trust that that GPS will get you to your destination in the fastest way possible. Now, hear this. Every time you question if this is the correct path, it stops the GPS. When your impatience intensifies, you begin to meddle and double check to see if things are going the way that you think they should. It delays you from getting to your destination. In fact, it will start to lead you back to your original destination or even an incorrect one. Manifestation abides by the same rules. Impatience will cause you to stop your progress. Do you want the car ride to be filled with discomfort and complaining, or do you want it to be chill and comfy? While you're being patient, events are happening behind the scenes to bring you exactly what you want with literally no conscious effort taken on your part. Isn't that great? This is what I meant by inspired action. The GPS is directing you along the route of the least resistance, and you are just moving as you normally would, not specifically trying to control each and every turn. While you're being patient, you cannot fathom what events are unfolding. Conversations are being had. Decisions are being made. Random occurrences are happening. Transactions. So many events are conspiring in your favor to bring you every manifestation, no matter how small or large. Now, we are collectively becoming aware of this process, but it was on autopilot for most of our lives in this society. Living in the end requires patience. It's somewhat of a paradox in practice. However, if you're feeling anxious, you can go within your imagination and have what you want this very moment. It is important to believe in your imagination and not to write it off as magic, childlike, superstitious, or even the woo. Remember that the world is a shadow. What you imagine today will manifest tomorrow and onward. So knowing this, shouldn't we make this process more comfortable? About a year ago, I had a little bit of an epiphany that served me pretty well in my manifestation journey. Allow me to share it with you. Patience is always a part of the law of assumption. It's akin to a waiting room. We've all been there in one way, shape or form. Whether we were waiting for our appointment at the doctor's office, the dentist, the mechanic, let's just take that example. Think about the last appointment you had where you were directed to a waiting room. Try to picture that very waiting room in your mind's eye. Remove everything from it as you remember and just imagine that you're in this room. Now, we're going to fill it with amenities. Imagine this waiting room has a TV mounted on the wall, but it's locked on one channel playing soap operas all day. Yeah, quite dull, right? But 
you reach for a magazine on a nearby table and all of the magazines are outdated by a few years or they're in niches that bore the hell out of you anyway. No worries. We'll just slide over to the coffee table. You pour a quick cup of coffee, but realize the warmer is turned off and the coffee is at room temperature. There's no cream and sugar. It's even watered down, but you're starting to shiver. It's a little bit cold in here, right? The air condition comes on and it's on full blast. Oh. You return back to your chair. You sit down and you realize how hard and stiff the chair is. Now, just wait. Wait one second. Doesn't that sound horrible? Let's try a different approach here. Now, imagine you're in this very same waiting room again. Empty it of its contents and reimagine it completely different. That TV on the wall is a 4K smart TV with Netflix and Hulu. Nobody is watching it, so you have full reign over the remote. Why is nobody watching? Because the staff has provided iPads with complimentary headphones at every chair, so everyone is enjoying whatever they want to watch. Instead of outdated magazines, the reading table is littered with interesting bestseller books and the latest luxury magazines. Let's slide back over to that coffee table again. You have your choice of high quality coffees from different countries, cold brew, pour over espresso. Hell, there's even tea. You have several different creamers and natural sugars for you healthy folks out there. The mugs fit nicely in your hand and in the bottom of it, it has a positive word of affirmation in each and every one that you notice just before you pour your beverage. You walk back over to the seat as the room feels warm and cozy. Your leather seat is super comfy and it reclines. You reach for the handle and you notice that there are complimentary socks just in case you want to take your shoes off while you wait. I'm sure you enjoy my little story right now, but you get the point, right? You have to be patient while you arrive at your destination of your desire. Being impatient is akin to the uncomfy waiting room analogy. You're waiting, but you're uncomfortable. You're filled with anxiety, boredom, dread, jealousy, envy. You're not enjoying anything about life or all the amenities that it brings. If only your desire just hurries up, everything will be fine. If your SP comes back, if the money gets there, if the job gets there, every minute that ticks by feels like an hour, doesn't it? The more you think like this, the longer and more painful that wait feels. But you still have to wait. There's no way around it. On the other hand, when you're patient and living in the end, that very waiting room isn't that damn bad at all. The waiting room is essentially your life. It's your reality. You're enjoying your friends and family. If you're manifesting a specific person, you're not waiting for them to show you love. You're going out there and seeking the love and accepting it. You're going on dates with others, even yourself. You're taking trips. You're watching your favorite shows or taking long walks at your favorite park. You're practicing yoga. You're working out or learning a new skill. Maybe you're even learning a different language. You're doing do-it-yourself projects you find on Pinterest. You're going to concerts, comedy shows. You are enjoying your life while you wait. When you do this, time flies by, and before you know it, your appointment is ready. Refining the skill of being patient is akin to the comfy waiting room. You're going to have to wait. Why not do it in style and comfort? So, in conclusion, I hope that you enjoyed taking this little walk with me. This was not really uh, a long video, but it didn't really need to be. I try to relate the law of assumption to some of the more everyday events, the more mundane events that we collectively experience. It has helped me to refine my understanding of the law, and I use it to get what I want, and it's my intention that you do as well. We've arrived at the end of this topic for today. Please take the time to like and subscribe to this channel if you've enjoyed this discussion. I am Sean, and you are neither here nor there. Thank you for joining me.